And you coached Kevin Randleman uh, in Japan when he won the UFC title. Yeah. Any thoughts on that? That must have been huge for you too. Huh. Oh, the jeez, the monster. Hmm. We haven't even talked about Kevin Randleman. Man. You know. Yeah, we went through a lot together, me and the monster. Um, he respected me because I was older and bigger and stronger, but he respected me and I was able to coach him. And, you know, my, my, my best aspect of coaching is to build your confidence and will make you realize you can be the champion because that's, you know, the rest is very important. You better have the athletic ability, but you better have the mind. There are a lot of great athletes that, can, that don't make it. Well, you know, I took the monster under my wing and we uh, Originally, Kevin Randleman thought I didn't like him. He thought I was a racist. His, his first year at Ohio State as a little freshman was my first year coaching. And I walked into the room and uh, had a pair of sunglasses on. Why? I don't know, but I did. And uh, I walked through and uh, I didn't know Kevin Randleman. At all, I just knew he was a top recruit of ours that I had never met yet. And then three months passed, two months passed at Ohio State, and me and Kevin we hardly ever talked. But then one day, after spring break, I looked at Randall and he's walking by. We're in a weight room, and I said, "Hey, you want to you want to train with me today?" And I didn't know that I didn't know he had an issue with me. You know what I mean, or not an issue. I didn't know he had these thoughts about me. And he said, huh? And, and then we went through a Hammer House weight training session where the whole, the whole rest of the wrestling team was watching. And they're learning. Cause I had a lot of followers. You know, you can, I was old school, stack that rack as high as you can. And uh, I wasn't a technique man. You know, as I grew older, I realized, oh, that was stupid, but it wasn't stupid. Any kind of weight training works. You just have to be careful when you don't use technique. But uh, that day he went home. I didn't know this, but he, he was ready to quit Ohio State. Hated it. And, and But then he found out, well, you know, I wasn't no racist. I just didn't know him, you know what I mean? And then... He ran home and called his mama and said he likes me, <laughs> talking about me. And then I don't think we missed the workout for the next whatever. And I turned, I didn't turn him into Jesus, take that back. He was already an animal inside, but now, hey, strength is a move. Strength is incredibly important in this game it's they all have to be combined but the stronger guy wins a lot of the times in wrestling and in fighting not all the time but it sure in the hell is an advantage and Kevin Randleman after that he went from this to this and he's squatting 505 for five reps. He just was a freak, freak of nature. I didn't have to, you know, I just pushed him. I pushed him, I couldn't break him a lot of times. Same thing, same thing with Kevin the Monster Randleman. When he prepared properly, when he was mentally readily ready and physically ready, Oh my goodness, this guy was a beast. But everybody always asks, how, how did you and Kevin do in practice? 
Uh, I'm going to look right in that camera and say, uh, thank the Lord I had about three inches height and about 25 pounds of weight. And if Kevin was here today, uh, uh, I whooped his ass. But uh, maybe. That's the best way to get better though too. Huh? It's the best way to get better if someone in your training center can, can beat you, right? Well, yeah, the, 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 you know, I, I don't want to take any credit for Kevin Randleman, but me whooping his butt on a regular basis and made the next guy feel weaker, easier. And in my prime, come on, I was the, one of the best in the world. And size does matter. So don't get me wrong. The monster was a beast, but our training sessions, uh, I enjoyed them because I enjoyed them because I won. Kevin didn't enjoy them that much. He did. But he did, but not till later that night. <laughs> he was pissed off at practice a few times, but hey, I'm there to... Uh, I took practice as serious as I did a fight. I mean, I didn't like giving up takedowns. I didn't give up takedowns to anybody. Hardly anybody ever took me down in my little group. You know, only only, only times I got taken down was when we went to world training camps. But at Ohio State, I was the man, and I ain't let nobody take me down. Kevin Random and Rex Holman, Nick Nutter, um, the list goes on and on. Gave up a few here and there. But I like pitching shutouts. I don't like handing out a free takedown. So if Kevin Randleman was going to take me down, he was going to have to earn it. And 